We just out here trying to live, man. That's all we're trying to do. Anything to feel good. That's what we after now. But whatever you got to do to feel good, do that shit. Like, at this point, life is basically a crab leg, and we're just all trying to work that bitch <laughs> and trying to find that one little nugget of feel good inside that... <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Oh, I found a little feel good today. I found just a little bit. Nom, nom. Smallest things will send you to the moon. You post a picture of yourself online, somebody like it, you're like, ooh. <laughs> But so wow, we're so addicted to that, that, that our own face ain't even enough. We've lost confidence in our own face. Won't put a picture of yourself online without putting a filter. You know, the filter, mm, swing, swing. So, okay, that's the one I'm gonna post, that's the one. You gotta have dog ears on your head. Why don't, don't run from the truth. Don't be putting no filters on your pictures. Accept the truth. Your mama's a nine, your daddy's a two. It is what it is. <laughs> Stop putting filters on yourself. They got one app, they got one app. This, this shit is wild, they, they got an app where all it do is show you what you look like when you 80. That's it, that's all it does. It don't do nothing else. You take a picture of yourself now as a young person and you put it in your phone and we don't do 80, that's it. Have we lost that much hope that we need a sneak preview of old age? Like, who is it? A sneak preview of when you 80? Who is this app for? Like, well, other than black men, because we might not make it there, but. <laughs> mm. You never know. Anything, man. Women getting plastic surgery to feel good. Yeah, Brazilian butt lifts. That's what they're doing, fellas. Brazilian butt lifts, that's what the women are doing. They're going down to South America. You, do you know what the Brazilian butt lift is? They, they go down there and they slice your booty cheek open. They, they slice your booty open and they take some of your belly and they put it in your ass and they stitch you up and they put you on a Spirit Airlines flight back to the States. <laughs> that's what they're doing, which is fine. I'm not hating on plastic surgery. If that's your crab leg, work it out. Do what you do. <laughs> My problem is that women, y'all will get the new ass and then you get on the internet and talk shit to men. Why are you attacking my self-esteem? You got a belly booty, congratulations. Go enjoy your belly booty. But that's not what they do. The women get the new ass and then you be bent over on Instagram. Look at all this ass. Do you have enough dick for this? No, ma'am, I don't. I don't have enough. I cannot reach it from this angle, man. You, you put a foot of meat in front of your put. I, I cannot get to it from this way. You can't move the goalpost and turn around and talk shit. Hey, turn around, we gotta do it front ways. It's the only way. <laughs> white people doing what they can to feel good now. I see what you're doing out there, white folks. White allies. That's what we got now, black people. White allies. And you gotta call them that, they like that. <laughs> white allies. And we know you're a white ally because you won't stop telling us at your job. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I just want you to know that I see you and I understand your journey. And anytime you want to have a dialogue, would you like to have a dialogue? <laughs> Stop talking to your black friends about race. Talk to your forefathers. <laughs> Call them up. And I'm not trying to attack white folks. I know you've done a lot of good shit. I don't want you to think I'm taking nothing away from you. And we've just seen you out there putting in the work. You got your shirts on with your little slogans. You know, pretty much whatever you stand for as a white person, there's a slogan shirt for you. <laughs> Black live and trans live and pussy hats. It's a lot of merch, y'all got a lot of merch <laughs> in this ally game right now. Which is cool, because the merch, the shirt does half the work for you now. The shirt breaks the ice for you. It's easy to be a white ally now. Shit, if you was a white ally in the 90s, you know how hard that shit was with no merch? You just had to be nice to niggas and grin at them and hope they figured it out. <laughs> you know how much pressure that is as a white person? <laughs> we can hold the elevator door open a little ding! <laughs> you see what I did? I, I... <laughs> but you could be 
you're doing more, white folks. Don't think that what you've done is enough. We appreciate what you've done, but you could do more. Dig deep and help out your goddamn black friends. We seen what y'all was doing at the Capitol. Do that shit for us. <laughs> Storm the Capitol for your black friends. Inside of every white person in this room is a Capitol rioter. You should dig deep and find them. You can storm the Capitol for a number of reasons. That ain't got to be the only reason. Do it for us. You think we ain't discussed that at the black meeting? You think black people ain't discussed storming a government facility as one of the options for getting our freedom? Yeah, but you cannot do that if you're black. You can't just go grab a shotgun and go to DC and then boom, bitch, where the freedom match? <laughs> you will get shot immediately. <laughs> immediately, you will get shot. You'd get shot at the house booking the flight. You wouldn't even... <laughs> you wouldn't even get to D.C. 